Hi, I'm Tim Zacharias with your Cougar USA Tip of the Week. This week, we will show you how to slowly pressurize a building's water system using the Grumfoss Booster Pack. You will want to follow this process when you initially bring your system online or anytime you have lost pressure and water in your piping system. That could be a planned outage to perform maintenance or an unplanned outage due to a system shutdown. In either situation, the system pressure must be slowly restored to normal to avoid water hammer in the piping. To start, we have our system disabled. Our pumps are primed and blood of air. No pressure in our discharge piping. All isolation valves are open and we have a few fixtures open at the highest point of the building to vent air. Next, we need to calculate how much pressure is needed to fill the building, assuming five PSI per floor. For example, a 10-story building will need around 50 PSI discharge pressure to fill the top floor. We will fill our system with water one floor at a time by increasing our set pressure in five PSI increments until we fill the top floor of the building. Typically, it takes about 30 to 60 seconds to fill each floor. Watch the open fixtures for a good stream of water to make sure the air has vented from the system. Once the building piping is full of water and blood of air, you can close the fixtures and begin to pressurize the system. Continue to increase the pressure in five to 10 PSI increments until the desired set pressure is reached typically 40 to 60 PSI higher than the pressure required to fill the building. Now you will want to bleed air from all of the fixtures in the building, including toilet flush valves, to make sure that they are not airlocked or stuck open. In normal operation, the booster pack will maintain the system set pressure automatically. In the video description, we have links to related tip of the week videos on the Grumpfoss booster pack.